Hey guys, Wild Willie here. We're gonna get into this little unit in a minute, but first I wanna talk about small solar generators in general. I think everyone should have one, whether you're a prepper or not. They're small wattage, small inverter, which makes a big difference. You can have a small wattage, uh, watt hour generator with a big inverter, and it sucks the power. Well, a lot of the energy is going to that inverter to run that inverter when you're running AC items. So, I recommend, you know what, get one that's going to run the small things, that's going to charge your phone, your laptop, that's going to run your Wi-Fi. That's what I use these for, to run my Wi-Fi with a 100 watt solar panel. Continuous. Uh, running small lights. That's what these are great for. You don't want to dedicate, you know, run a little 5 watt light bulb or 5 watt lamp plugging into a 2000 watt inverter generator. It's just going to suck the power. Small solar generators with small inverters are fantastic for running stuff like that. They last for a long time like a lot of hours when you're running small appliances. Can they apply or anything big? No, but that's why you need a bigger solar generator. This will keep the lights on, this will keep the Wi-Fi going because it's got a small inverter. You don't need anything more than 300 watts. It does the job and so I'm such a fan of having a small power station just to do simple stuff like that and dedicate it to that stuff. That being said, in my hands for a short period of time, I have an EcoFlow River 3 Series 300 watt generator, 600 watt surge power. This thing, as far as small handheld, like small, I call them small handheld generators, even though it's not really handheld, it's got a handle on it, um, is probably the cream of the crop right now. I own All Powers brands, I own uh, uh, a Jackery brand, I own a few different ones, or have owned a few different ones, and this one is so far the best thing I've tried. Um, the size, Thin, look at that. It's like a lunch box, weighs under eight pounds, got a handle. It's IXP 65, I think. You know, light rain won't hurt it. Dropped up to a meter. It's a very simple unit. It's nothing exciting on it. I'm not going to run tests and show you how long this will run, that will run, and everything else. There's a million videos for that. You've got a couple AC outlets, a couple USB standard, and I think a USB C on here. Um, you plug in your solar or your car charging. And that's it. The beauty about this unit, charging from your wall takes an hour. Charging from your cigarette lighter takes three hours. Solar took me, I think, under two hours. It's a fantastic little unit. And what I will say about EcoFlow, uh, their app is probably the best app support for any other units. i am currently got another one in my hands too. I'm testing something a little bit bigger. We'll do another video on that. Most solar generators that have lipo batteries the ecoflow is all do they say you know good for 3000 charges 3000 charges you know on the on the max setting. thing this thing charges up to 320 watts that's why it only takes an hour it can charge in an hour the downside is that might not be the ultimate charging level it might be harder on your batteries that might not guarantee the 3000 charges optimum charging on this thing is like 75 watts and in the app, it has a way to move that charging, how much power you want coming in to this unit via solar panel, via charging from the wall, via charging from 12 volt, and optimum charging. You can hit the optimum charging button, button and that'll bring that down to the what's best for the batteries. And that would last maybe even more than 10 years. I don't know. But EcoFlow just hats off to their app. I could do a whole video on their app. Their app's incredible. I've never had an app more detailed than the ability to do stuff. It's it's all simple, it's easy to use. This EcoFlow here um, has an X game technology and I'm not too sure what EcoFlow is claiming with it, but all I know is it's supposed to extend the, the battery life when you're running low wattage appliances, low wattage stuff. That being said, uh, before hooking up to a solar panel, my traditional 340 watt or my two, traditional 240 watt solar generators with around three to 500 um, watt inverters can run my internet for about 12 hours, 12 to 14 hours. This unit here ran it for almost 18. Uh, I think it's a 15 watt, uh, my Wi-Fi is about 15 watts continuous around there, and it ran us for almost 18 hours. So whatever their x gain technology is that EcoFlow is using now, it did work. I was impressed with that. This little unit sits, runs my internet, uh, hooked up to nothing more than a 100 watt solar panel. And this will run for run it pretty much all day and they're pretty much all night and in the day the solar kicks in you know like I said I'm only using 15 18 watts it tops up itself and it's good it's continuous use 
I haven't run into any major cloudy days yet, becoming an issue, but I'll let you know if I do. I'm very impressed with this EcoFlow River 2 series. I honestly think that everyone needs a smaller solar generator. It's nice to have the big monsters that'll power anything in your house, but think about it. When you're only running small stuff, you're just eating and wasting a lot of power. This thing is great, can fit in a backpack, handheld, droppers. I don't even know what to say about it. It's, I'm so happy. This blows the hell out of, out of uh, Blue Yeti. It blows the hell out of the Jackery I got, everything. Even the All Powers, and I was a big fan of the All Power small unit. This thing, high recommendation. I'm gonna do an in-depth more testing video on it, and I'll post it on my other channel. But if you're in the market, which you should be, for a small handheld, solar generator that's gonna save you a lot of aggravation and a lot of power and keep stuff charged indefinitely grab one of these they're running around the same price as any of the other brands i think on amazon last time i looked they were about 250 bucks but it's 250 bucks well spent um, they last for a long time they keep the lights on they keep the internet going and you're not wasting the power anyways guys i'm wild willie and i gotta get trucking not a question of if the shit's going to hit the fan, it's a question of when. So always be prepared.